So this video project came about after um, our SHSP trip to Chongqing, China. Physical therapy students at that point were led by Dr. Sam Pierce to provide training for the physical therapists at the orphanage as well as um, assessing the children in the orphanage. And at that point, the um, orphanage staff asked for further in-servicing, either through some sort of um, video conferencing or video resources. I went with the physical therapy department to China in May of 2013. While we were there, we were able to see how the staff interacted with the toddlers and infants. We really noticed that they adhered to cultural norms of swaddling the children and really comforting them when they cried. So we decided to make some videos of how to facilitate um, exploration of the environment and some motor development. And we also plan on going back to China in May 2015 and there's already plans for May 2016. So we really hope that it will be an ongoing process with the Love Manor staff to help facilitate better development in these children and give them the best advantage. This project is really exciting because it's come out of an interdisciplinary program through the School of Human Services Professions but it's connected our students with communication students and that's something that we would not ordinarily have the opportunity um, to connect with. What we do in the comms building is we shoot and we try to get that as accurate as possible and then after we get all the footage we need we come back into this room and we can use the editing suite that we have here we can go downstairs and edit and then we can do voiceovers. So we have all these different parts of the building to actually produce a final product. In the footage we have um, a variety of babies showing different developmental milestones that the children should be meeting such as rolling, being able to be on their stomachs and lifting up their head, what they look like when they're pulling to stand and, and crawling and, and things like that as well as how to facilitate um, those motions. I think that this project is really exciting because we are able to take what was um, a one-shot um, service learning project and expand it to be um, a more sustainable program um, which will fit well with our um, university's new strategic plan of creating um, sustainable programming and really working to place Widener on the map in terms of its civic engagement.